Hey everyone, this is Jad from Principal Repo. Um, this is going to be my very first video tutorial, so bear with me if I'm not very good at it yet, but I'll try to get better and improve as I create more videos. But today I'll be making a tutorial on something that I've seen requested on the Facebook group um, a lot of times already. I've also seen it requested on Dribbble. You know, how can I take uh, the video that I export from Principal, um, such as this one right here, how can I take this video and how can I put it on a device like an iPhone or a laptop or something like that? And then how can I save that and export it as a GIF that I can upload it to Dribbble or my website? And so that's what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be a two-part tutorial. First of all, we're going to take the uh, this prototype here and we're going to be placing it on a device. Uh, this one is a device that I downloaded from Dribbble. Um, and if you want to look for your own devices, just go to Dribbble and search, you know, iPhone PSD or you know, MacBook PSD and you'll, you'll see a ton of resources there. That's normally how I get these. But we're going to be placing this video into that and we're going to be creating something like this right here as the final uh, result. Uh, see how smooth that GIF is and how good this GIF looks. Um, and so let's get started. First of all, we'll, we're going to take this device and open it up in Photoshop. And we're going to make, first of all, we're going to see and make sure that it's the right size for dribble. So dribble is 800 by 600. And so let's resize that 800 by 600 here. And we see that the device here is broken down into groups and layers, but the back, this is the iPhone. Let's zoom in. That's the iPhone. Uh, this is the screen. And that's we that's where we are gonna be putting our, um, our video. And this is a reflection on top. and. That's going to be really cool to have the video, you know, underneath that um, that reflection there, and we'll be able to see the reflection while we we play the video. So, the first the first thing I normally do is with these I try to flatten out as many layers as possible that I don't really need. So with this one, we're not going to be animating this or anything. So let's just rasterize this by pressing Command E. That rasterizes it all and flattens the layers inside that group. And what we want to do is we want to double click this smart object. Uh, double click that and so this is we uh, where we are going to be placing our video so just take that video uh, you could drag it straight onto the canvas and um, it's the perfect size so that's great that's great so just press enter and um, the video has been converted to a smart object so this is where a lot of people get stuck um, they'll create this and if they save this it's going to be a flat um, it's just going to be a flat image there's no there's no movement so what you have to do is you normally this timeline panel for a lot of people would be closed. So you go to window and then click on timeline and I'll open this up. What you want to do is down here, um, there's this little uh, icon or button here and it says convert to video timeline. So you want to click that. And so now you have your video inside this screen right here. And then so we're going to save this video. I'll close it out and save it. And now we see that we have it here but if you look here it's the same thing it's just a flat one one frame um, image and we want to do the same thing down here is we want to click convert this thing to a video timeline and so now we have our video timeline um, ready to go and you see we could scrub through it and you see that it works and so that little trick right there will help you create um, and put the, these um, prototypes into your devices but so this is good to go we're ready to go we're just gonna save it now um, we want to save for web, so file, export, save for web, and I normally just use the keyboard shortcut of uh, shift, alt, command, s, and that will open that up. And this could take a while depending on the, the um, how big the file size is going to be. So um, just to let you know, uh, with Dribbble, the limit for uploading a GIF is 8 megabytes, and the more gradients and shadows and colors that your design has, then the larger your GIF will be. I've seen some GIFs sometimes I'll start and try to export it and it's like 45 megabytes. Um, and by the way, this is where you can see how big this file size is. This one is only one megabyte, so that's pretty small. Um, if this was, let's say it was like 20 megabytes or something, what I would normally do is I would play around with some of these settings. So colors, typically I would try to like lower the colors down a little bit first. And then next thing I would start messing with the dither. I think that has to do with blending the different colors together. Um, so with gradients, you know, if you lower this, you'll see more of a separation of the colors on your gradients. Um, so I'll lower that a little bit and that normally helps out. I'll lower the quality of your 
or lower, lower the file size of your video. Um, and then I'll also mess with the uh, lossy, but I usually do this last because this really like compresses the GIFs and like you'll start seeing weird artifacts like pop up all over your design and you don't really want that. Um, another thing that I'll sometimes do is choose pattern instead of diffusion and you'll get like these nice um, dots looking thing on your design that looks a lot better than like pixelated um, colors. So yeah, that's some of the settings I usually mess with um, when I create GIFs, but let's save this and export it. Um, let's just call this iPhone and let's press save. And depending, like I said, depending on how big the, the GIF is, at times it's like, it's really, really slow and there's even times where it's, it like failed on me and it said something like, you know, your um, scratch disks are full. And if, if you ever get that error message, you just go to edit and purge and then you can purge your video cache and purge all and it'll remove all the stuff that Photoshop is storing on the scratch disk and then it'll help you be able to export it. But let's see how the, let's see what the final GIF looks like. Here we go. And I think that looks pretty good. This is, um, that's kind of zoomed in. I believe this is like around 800 by 600 here. So that's what, that is what we are going to be uploading to Dribbble. And I think that looks really smooth. So yeah, pretty simple uh, workflow that I have for, you know, taking a vid, a video that I record in principle and then converting that into something like this. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what tutorial you'd want, uh, you'd want me to record next and I'd be happy to make another video. Bye.